Hello Libras, it's Prado G and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign. Shout out to all of my Libras. If your birthday is between September 23rd and October 22nd, then you are Libra. This is Libra season. So shout out to all the Libras that are here assembling today. This is going to be a general collective reading. So take whatever resonates for you and leave behind whatever doesn't resonate for you. Okay, because it's for another Libra, all right? If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, or rising, this reading can resonate for you. Let's get into the significant number. We got three. Okay. Starting with 13. If your birthday is October 13th, shout out to you. Or 13 reduces to four. So if your birthday is October 4th, I had a friend named Jakaria whose birthday is October 4th. Shout out to her. Happy belated birthday, homegirl. What if she's seen this video? That'd be cool. Anyways, orange energy speaking to your sacral chakra. Then if your birthday is October 15th or the uh, 6th, shout out to you too in the comment section because this is the number 15 showing up. So I feel like there could be some sort of um, stability that you are looking forward to. Um, some sort of improvement in your life, some sort of healing, right? Some some sort of support and stability maybe i feel yeah look with the two speaking to partners and partnerships duality connection choices and options maybe you got some options right now so express yourself with that blue energy showing up in your throat chakra be willing to express yourself in the most intimate creative ways libra right now that's what i feel right if especially if you're looking for some sort of order and stability you have a lot of order and stability too so you know improve the lives of others around you you know let's see what the energy is going oh that came right out time to take action new moon in aries so yeah i don't know maybe you could be dealing with an aries right now but all i know is it's time to take action your dreams need a practical plan so there's something that you've been dreaming about for a while and it's just time for you to take action on it like it's time to stop procrastinating about this thing and really move forward with that. So yeah, new moon in Aries is <clears throat> all about not giving up. Don't think about giving up right now. Do your best and be happy with that, okay? Avoid being brash right now. And you need a 12-month plan. This card might mean a new male is coming into your life. It could be an Aries, right? The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons. And you're right on track. So drawing this card is a superbly positive sign. <clears throat> if there is something you want to happen in your life, take this card as a big yes, all right? This is really the time to tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go, um, but you're on your way. And determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. So yeah, that's why I feel like, yeah, just be careful that you don't um, lose your manners in the process of you bringing your plans into action. Because I feel like you could be really fired up with this new start, Libra. But communication is a key. There could be a lack of communication with the Gemini in your life. This is air sign energy. Maybe you have a hard time communicating right now. That's what, yeah, you could be in a relationship with the Gemini possibly or another air sign. And y'all could be falling out of connection and communication. That's why I saw with the two right there. And I said about expressing yourself, right? So what do you need to release? Ask yourself. You could be releasing something right now. Um, There's something that needs to be released, I feel. And it could be just this lack of communication. If you feel like it's somebody that don't want to communicate with you too, release them. Like, what? You deserve better. You deserve better. Let's see what the tarot has to say for my Geminis. I mean, excuse me, Geminis. My Libras. I'm tripping. That's what happens when you do all the signs. Sometimes you get it mixed up. <clears throat> but let's see what's going on with my Libras. Oh, wow. All of that jumped out. And we're going to see what that is. What that is all about. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well... First of all, we got the seven of wands. So this is all about 
you being afraid or not standing up for what you believe. This is a cowardice energy, Leo energy, um, either low spirits. Are you letting people get the best of you? Somebody's getting the best of you and you're doubting yourself with the high priestess in reverse, not listening to your intuition in some way, shape or form. You could be allowing somebody to get to you in your head and it's stopping you from taking action, Libra. But look, neglecting this is not going to help you with the eight of discs in reverse. The eight of discs showed up in reverse. Repression. Mm. The ace of cups in reverse. Wasted energy. I mean, wasted emotions. But in Genesis with the two of wands. So some sort of planning forward with someone. There are two. This is the number two card. I mean, this is the two of wands. So two correlates right here. Once again, you could be at battle with someone. You could be at some sort of, um, you could be creating something with someone, but in the process of creating, you know, it's a bit of a struggle when you are planning with someone else who has a different viewpoint or perspective than you, but you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? This is Aries energy. Once again, time to take action. There's some sort of Genesis right here, right now. So like you're creating something, either having a baby <clears throat> with someone, it could be with an Aries. And there's a need for expression and compassion because you are repressing your emotions with the Ace of Cups in reverse. And that's why I said there's a lack of communication going on in this relationship. But because of ne negligence, somebody's just not tending to what they need to be tending to. Like, you got to stay diligent in your relationships. This is um, the Eight of Discs. So this is Earth sign energy. If you're dealing with the um, Virgo, this is heavy Virgo energy, but it could also be a Capricorn or a Taurus here. But, like, you got to believe in yourself to be able to make this happen, to push forward, to strive forward. I know it could be a challenge. There could also be other parties outside that might be trying to get in the way of this, of your vision. Look, the Prince of Wands comes through with the visionary. You are a visionary, so just keep pushing forward with belief in yourself. I'm about to use these energy oracle decks to close off this reading for you libras so we're going to see what's showing up in regards of your energy was showing up for my libras and their energy because i feel like there's some sort of loving connection being blocked like you're blocking you're missing out on some sort of compassion just because you're being negligent or not paying attention to the details of something you're not focused on what you need to be focusing on right now libra but look, it's time to take action on whatever this is, on this relationship, on your home stability. You know, don't be afraid to express yourself and stand up for yourself in a relationship. Don't let other people just shun you away and push you off to the side like you ain't nothing, right? A man holding a coin, period. So it could be a man that has financial advantage over you, that's taking advantage of you, that could be weakening your spirits and you trying to come, you're trying to set yourself free from this person. Look, yeah, the sun in reverse. It could be somebody's sun <laughs> that ain't shining light on you properly. Or it could just be you not seeing the light in yourself when the sun shows up in reverse. It's kind of like you are not acknowledging your own creative gifts and the beauty that you bring into this world. <clears throat> this man holding a coin could also be you, Libra, where you just um, are more focused on your money and your appearance because the man holding a coin is a very sexy appealing type person look at how they look and they got money but in reverse somebody could be using their appearance or like just because they have looks they think that that's what creates their value or just because they have money in a bank account it's all about your spirit now a man holding a coin upright is somebody that you want on your side this is someone that you want to be um but when it's in reverse this is just telling me there's an imbalance here in this person in this energy they are either unhealthy or imbalance in their viewpoint of what value is like and you could be afraid to break away from this person because like i said if they got a lot of money or they got a lot of good looks you might think oh my god this is a catch and i might not be able to catch I'm, i don't want to fumble this ball you know what i'm saying like you feel like you don't want to fumble something but listen if it's dimming your light and it's not shining bringing your spirits up it's time to take action and move out of that energy and move away from this person Mm, journey in reverse yeah see you're not taking some sort of journey there's a a plan or a strategy that you are doubting there's time for it's time for you to leave behind this 
this connection that's no longer caring. Like it's either you're not caring about this connection anymore or they just not caring about you. And it's time for you to make a plan to move forward, my Libras, because look, you hurting yourself the longer you sit around dimming your own spirits. It's time for you to make a plan here. And when you receive this card, it indicates that it's the optimal time for setting up very specific strategies and achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Like write it down in your journal or something. Consider any potential change in the course that may be needed and be aware of the particular regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality this card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order see that's what i was saying about that four when i was saying about stability and order yeah there's some sort of plan and strategy right now that you need to be working on so that you can get out of this man holding the coins oh uh, yeah because they're not they're not really here for you they're blocking your journey look this is number two again two 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 angel number that angel number represents new beginnings creating new beginnings and harmonizing your mind with your body love and connect with yourself and forgiveness so your journey is one of moving forward and forgiving people um and letting go like you might have to move on because you could be repressing emotions by being with this person who just does not want to communicate and make things right with you or they just want to um spoil you with gifts or send you money and like give you money and think that that's enough because they go to work and take care of you or whatever the case may be and you know that you are seeking more on your journey than just that this card in reverse desires um you want it, it just it feels like you are desiring to move or just get away for a while but when it's in reverse it could indicate a delay or a cancellation something could be standing in your way Perhaps lines of communication may get crossed. Don't let the potential changes upset you. Re refocus your energy and be flexible enough to alter your schedule or destination as needed. Remember, you can always create new adventures, new adventures, <clears throat> even in your present location or situation. Right. So no matter where you are right now, you can still be enjoying your journey right where you are moving toward where you want to be. OK, so know that you are attracting wonderful new adventures and your life is a blessing taking you to new places inside and out. <clears throat> My lovely Libras, let's get one more card. But yeah, I really do feel like there's just something, a, a loving connection, a, a non-caring connection Ooh, and a woman holding a coin in reverse too. These two came out now. Ooh. Is this a money, honey, a money hungry relationship? I feel like this could be an art of a uh, superficial relationship. And honestly, <clears throat> you feel it in your gut. With this third chakra energy popping up in reverse, it's just a low ebb in your energy. If you're too focused on money, these people, when they're in reverse, the woman and the man holding a coin are people who are just well too focused on monetary gain. It's like, or having money, holding too tightly to their money and not really taking care of themselves on a spiritual deeper level. It's like your health could be this person or these people could just <clears throat> have financial advantage over you and they just are not having your best interests at heart. That's what I feel about these people when they're showing up in reverse. So for all of my male Libras out there, because you could have been dealing with a woman <clears throat> that's like this too. And this is underneath the Genesis. So it's like you're trying to build something with someone. But if there's no communication there and it's all about the money, like somebody is just like, oh, I want, if you ain't got no money for me, I ain't got no time for you. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know why I just got that type of energy, but hey, follow your gut. Trust your gut, my lovely Libras. And how do y'all feel about this? Like, I want, I want to know, how do y'all feel about this? Do y'all have this situation going on with y'all? Like, are y'all dealing with a person or like a man or a woman that got some money or are they just money hungry, like individuals? I don't know. I'm just getting really money hungry <clears throat> and neglecting some your emotions. Somebody's neglecting their emotions are being neglected. There's a lack of communication going on here for some Libra out there. I don't know. It might not be all of y'all, but hey, I know this reading had to resonate for at least one Libra out there. And I appreciate all of you guys for showing up. Peace, love, and prosperity to you all.